Hello everyone, welcome to a light engineer. In this video, we are going to see the perturb and observe technique for MPPT that is applied to the buck converter. So basically, when, when we try to simulate our solar PV system with a buck converter, we first try to put the load that is a resistive load to just check how my system is working. So this is a basic model for that. So before I begin, what I did here is I started with irradiation that is 1000 watts and 25 degrees Celsius is the temperature. Now it will come to your mind whether the if irradiation is changing with respect to time. Like for example, I have considered that it is a, a perfect sunny day and I am getting 1000 irradiation. But what if there is a some tree shadow or some shadow that is falling on this solar P panel? Then similarly we can reduce this by 800, 700, 200 as per our choice. So in the upcoming videos, I am going to show you what if during the 24 hour interval, if it changes with respect to time, how my solar PV output will change and what is the change in my output of buck converter. And so let's begin with how I simulated this perturb and observe buck with buck converter. So what I did is I took a configuration of solar PV panel that is actually with open circuit voltage. Just one minute. I'll just show you. Yeah, this is an open circuit voltage. VOC is 44.5 volts and voltage is maximum power point is 37.6 the temperature coefficient uh, it's coming this and the number of cells per modules is 72 short circuit current is 8.5 and the current at maximum power point is 8.03 and this is the temperature now if i see with temperature uh, 45 degrees celsius and 25 degrees celsius if i plot this i'll come to know that whether it is meeting my expectations or not yeah this is a power i'll get when it is 25 degrees celsius this is a power i'll get so I'll just uh, extend this. I'll just show you. Yeah. So I can just check like on 25 degrees Celsius, I'll get around 300 watts of power. And here the current is around 8.5. Okay. We can just check here also. Yeah. With figure properties, I think. Actually, yeah. With figure properties, you can just check and you can just put the line and it will come and 8.2 around 8.3 it will come because 9 is this much and this is around 8.2 or 8.5 like this in a similar fashion you can do so what happened here is there are different configurations of solar p panel we can consider so this is a user defined which i have defined based upon my rating of buck converter boost converter buck boost converter which server you are using so you can just check here if your solar panel is mentioned or not if it is not mentioned you can just create your own solar p panel with a defined rating Fine. Now the output of solar P panel is connected to buck converter. So this is the output of buck converter. Now I have just inserted this. I have just created this as a uh, like just select this and click here. Yeah, click here and create a subsystem for this. So it will put this in this subsystem. So I'll just click here to uh, that subsystem which I have created. Now what happened here is I I want to measure the output voltage of solar PV which will be input of the buck converter, right? So I'll just measure my voltage from here and my current from here. And this is a simple buck converter configuration, which easily you can just derive based upon like V0 is equal to D, Vs means output voltage is equal to duty into input voltage. And there's a very simple formulas for calculation of inductor and the capacitor. From by using that, I'll just uh, calculate like inductor value is 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 and the capacitor output capacitor value is 220 into 10 to the power minus 6 and there is a requirement of input capacitor also which is a higher value that is 220 into 10 to the power minus 6 and this is a switch and now we need the duty to operate this switch right and here i'm measuring the output voltage and output current this is a very simple buck converter i think everyone would be aware of now this buck converter output would be fed to yeah, this buck converter output would be fed to the output resistive load, right? Now, based upon my buck converter configuration, I have a formula for calculate the resistance also, right? So for that, I have just took as a two ohms resistance, right? Now comes our favorite part, that is our perturb and observe technique. Now, how it is working? I'll just show you. I have considered here from and to port. Like if you double click here and if I type here from yeah, from, I'll get some signal routing. From signal routing, I've taken this as from. And from, I've just taken from inside, 
that is my VPV and IPV. That is the output of solar PV panel. This much output of solar PV panel and input of buck converter. This will be fed to my zero order hold, which value is 0 0.02. So this you can vary according to your range and operations, how you want to operate this. And here also I just put a zero order hold. Right. Now, if I open my Perdue and Observe technique, here is the code which I have written for Perdue and Observe. It's a very simple code which I have written. Like you can also modify this. Now, I'll just put a duty to pulse generator. Why I'm using this duty to pulse generator? Because duty itself cannot operate the switch. Right. So we need the pulse for the operation of switch. We are saying that the duty is operating the switch, but it's indirectly relating. Right. So duty is operating or duty is operating indirectly the switch, which is basically operated by the pulse generated by duty to pulse converter. Right. And here it will be uh, the PV boost pulse. I just considered here and I'm just feeding here this with a PV boost pulse. I'll just open here. PV boost pulse. Right. So the pulse which is generated here will be fed to the switch of the buck converter. Now, if I run this simulation, yeah, give me some time. I'm just operating this with a one. You can just operate how much time interval you want. Basically, the problem here is you cannot operate like in the real time. So we need a real time simulators like real time digital simulators known as RTDS and Opal RT to exactly check how it's operate in when it's operating in the real time. So that's why I'm using here MATLAB which basically gives me the simulation. Simulation means uh, the, it, it simulate how my it will work in that particular environment, right? Now, here I'm getting VPV, IPV and duty. Duty is the this duty which I'm getting uh, after the output of uh, uh, this maximum power point tracking technique, which is being generated uh, by Perturb and Observe technique. And uh, VPV, IPV is the output of solar P panel. Also, we can call as an input of buck converter. And here is the output of that is output voltage and output current, which is the output of buck converter. Uh, I'll just give him some time to operate, but I can also visualize this by clicking on scope four. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I've just clicked. I don't know why it's not opening. It'll open. Yeah, see, it's st it started working. Now I'll just explain you what happened here is. Yeah, it's, it's perfectly working. Yes, yes, yes. Now what happened here is uh, start, it start with the transients, right? It starts searching for the, uh, the, for the duty. And here it find the optimal duty for maximum power because I have already shown you that my solar PV is capable of generating 300 watts and at 1000 radians, radiations uh, and 25 degrees Celsius, it can generate approximately 300 watts of power. So it is giving me 300 watts of power and this is a duty which is varying with a three step like one, two and three. Whenever I will get in this fashion duty, I will come to know that it has come to a steady state position. There are various techniques of in the literature for which we can reduce our steady state time like, like it, it, the time to reach the steady state. There are lots of techniques and in the upcoming videos I am going to discuss. If you want the simulation uh, of buck converter with Pertube and Observe Maximum Power Point Tracking Technique. Mm -hmm. I'll just drop the link in the comments below and you can directly click the link and it will redirect you to the website from where you can direct, directly download the simulation for that. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. Thank you.